Hi, let's talk about Google Vault. So before we begin, we need to ensure that Vault is turned on by going to Apps, click on Google Workspace, select Google Vault, click on Service Status, and ensure that the OU is selected on the left, and set the service status to on. Once that is done, you can access the Vault console at vault.google.com and there are four features of Vault that we're going to discuss, namely retention, hold, search, and export. These require an active or suspended account to be present. When clicking on retention, there are two different types of retention rules you can apply, namely default as well as custom rules. To configure a default rule, select the service and adjust the duration, either indefinitely or a custom retention period of your choosing. To create a custom rule, select Custom Rules, click Create, select the service you want the rule to apply to, select the scope or the organizational unit you want the rule to apply to, then define your conditions such as the start and end date as well as certain terms. These terms are similar to the Gmail search terms in that they use boolean operators such as end, is, not, or, as well as parentheses that you're familiar with. Next, you define the duration and action to take at the end of the retention period. Retention triggers will be attempted every 24 hours to ensure that the most recent retention policy would be applied. When there is a conflict between retention rules, the custom rule would always trump the default rules. Custom rules with the longest retention period would win. When the message is deleted after the end of the retention period, Vault admins still have a period of up to 30 days to read the messages. When one email in a thread is retained, the entire thread is retained. It is important to note here that if you apply a label to an existing thread, any new messages coming in subsequently will not automatically have the label attached and will not be subject to deletion based on the rule.